Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Once again, I came in front of you, sir. See here, actually in second year, there is a sixth chapter, current electricity. In that current electricity, we are having here total three types of LAQs. Okay, first one is Kirchhoff loss, Western bridge, along with these two topics, it can be considered another one problem also. These total topics, it will be available in my videos, in my channel, okay? And now, sir, see here, another one most important two questions, sir, that is a potentiometer completely. It is related to the, the two LAQs, it is related to the potentiometer only. So now, see here, in that potentiometer, we are going to take here first, first LAQ, that is, state the working principle of potentiometer, explain the, explain with the help of circuit diagram, okay? How the prime, how the EMFs of two primary cells are compared? How we are going to compare them? Compare them of two EMF cells. How can we compare? Okay. So now see here, sir. First of all, this is the circuit diagram, sir. Okay. So first of all, we are going to uh, state see here. State the working principle of potentiometer. First of all, what is a potentiometer? Okay. After that, we are having C. First of all, what is the potentiometer here, sir? Means potentiometer is a device. It is a device which can measure the accurately the EMF of a source, EMF of a cell. Okay, accurately EMF of a cell, which can measure accurately the EMF of a cell. That is the potentiometer, sir. And the definition is the potential difference is okay. The potential difference is across the potentiometer is directly proportional to the okay the potential difference is across any portion of the wire of potentiometer is directly proportional to the length of that potentiometer wire so simply we can write here that is c e is directly proportional to the l means potential difference it can be drawn any portion of the wire of potentiometer that is directly proportional to the length of that potentiometer wire. Okay, so E is directly proportional to L. Then again, if we can remove the proportional, you will get one constant. E is equal to phi into L, where phi is a potential gradient. Where phi is a potential gradient. So simply we can write this is the E is equal to phi into L. Suppose if you want to write here that implies. If you want to write here potential gradient that is phi is equal to E by L. This is the potentiometer statement. Okay. So now we are going to do. See here sir. Now we are going to explain with the help of circuit diagram. How the EMS of two cells. How it will be compared from this diagram. Okay. So see here first of all. It can be consist here. Length of that potentiometer wire is. It can be consist here 4 meter, 6 meter or 10 meter length of the wire. Okay. Potentiometer wire. That potentiometer wire completely with the, which is connected to the one copper Copper wire. Okay. Here also copper wire. Here also copper wire. Here also copper wire. Here also copper wire. It will be look like a C, sir. E. Okay. Uh, so now see here, sir. This total circuit diagram it can be consist here. The left side and this is the right side. Left side is the primary circuit and right side all the connections are called here secondary circuit. And now, sir, first of all, what is the primary circuit, sir? Means battery of EMF which is connected with which is connected with ammeter rheostat. This is here rheostat RH. Why we are seeing here rheostat, sir, means we have to increase or decrease the current in the circuit. Increase or decrease the current in the circuit. That's why we are using here rheostat. Battery means nothing normally, current will be close to the circuit. Okay. So now see here, sir, battery, EMF, battery which is connected with uh, ammeter, ammeter, rheostat. And plug key. These are all are connected between the two terminals that is A and C. This is called here primary circuit. And next is second, what is the secondary circuit, sir? Means at the secondary circuit, two cells E1 and E2, both terminals are connected to the common terminal that is A. And next one, this is a two way key. One, two, one, two are the two keys. But for these two keys, we are having here common keys, sir, that is a three. 
okay it is connected to the galvanometer and galvanometer to jockey galvanometer to jockey jockey j at n1 at n2 okay these are called here secondary circuit and now sir in the circuit what is the explanation of this circuit sir means explanation that is the explanation sir which are given and now how we are going to find that value sir means here when the current can be i mean when the key k1 is once again i am telling sir when the key k1 is closed there only is for loop for the current will be passes right when the current k1 key which is pass i mean current will be passing through the circuit which currents are mean constant current sir constant current which can passing through the circuit when by using rheostat how much it will be increase that much current will be passes through the circuit okay when the current oh, sorry when the key k1 is closed then the constant current will be passes through the circuit first we are going to connect here e1 okay e1 cell which is connected in nothing but first we are going to connect here 1 and 3 key 1 and 3 okay 1 and 3 two way key okay when the current can be passing through the cell em uh, cell of emf e1 to the 1 and 3 and uh, which is passing through the galvanometer and galvanometer to jockey j which is at point n1 okay galvanometer to jockey j now see yes, sir take the jockey you have to press along the wire at a particular point the galvanometer can be shows here null deflections null means nothing but zero deflections where it can become here zero deflections that balancing length is from point a to n1 this balancing length is this balancing length is l1 this balancing length is l1 okay now for the closure pass see why we are taking here closure pass sir means according to the kirchhoff second law means first of all we are going to here apply here kirchhoff second law for the closure pass a n1 g 3 1 a okay this is one completely closure pass see for closure path for closure path a n1 g 3 1 3 1 a this is the one completely closure path okay for the closure path we are having here formula sir see here that is e1 how much it can become here galvanometer value sir that is zero and balancing length is that is L1, which is equal to total, is equal to zero according to the Kirchhoff second law. What is the Kirchhoff second law, sir? The algebraic sum of total potential difference through any closure surface is equal to zero. That only we are taking here. So now we are going to take here. Let us see. E1 is equal to phi L1. It will come phi L1. E1 is equal to phi L1. This is equation number. One. Similarly, similarly, same as it is again. Now we have to remove the two uh, way keys. Sir, that is the one and three. And now next we are going to connect here two and three. Same here also. When the current can, when the key K K one is closed, the constant current will be passing through the potentiometer wire. Potentiometer wire through the cell A two. When we are going to attach it here two way key that is two and three, the current will be passing through the galvanometer, galvanometer to jockey J at point N two. Now take the jockey you have to press along the wire, along the potentiometer wire. At a particular point, the galvanometer can be shows here null deflections. The galvanometer can be shows here null deflection means zero deflections. At that point, the balancing length is. Balancing length will be occur here. That balancing length is that is L two. That is L two. So now we are going to take here according to the Kirchhoff second law for the closure path A N two G three two A. Okay, for the closure path. For the closure path. 
a n to g 3 to a this is the closure path sir for the closure path we are going to take here that is a2 minus 0 minus 5 l2 which is equals to 0 so now again we can write here a2 is equals to 5 l2 this is the equation number 2 okay that is the equation number 2 so now we are going to take here equation 1 by equation 2 sir that is that implies one value is e1 by e2 is equals to 5 l1 by 5 l2 so now here 5 5 cancel so now we will get here e1 by e2 is equals to l1 by l2 so this is the our required formula for this diagram from this diagram okay see explain with the help of circuit diagram how the emf of two primary cells are compared how the emf of two primary cells are compared sir means by using this circuit diagram see completely we are having here a question part completely this question can be considered for totally theory theory part okay theory part i think everyone you understood this okay and don't forget sir here diagram is must sir if you don't know diagram, we can't be able to write the theory part. Okay, the theory part completely it is related to the diagram only. Primary circuit, secondary circuit. When current will be passing through from this, okay, then automatically current will be passing through the circuit. Then we will get here galvanometer null deflections. We will get here different types of balancing lens. Now we are, we are then we are applying here according to the teacher's second law. That closed path we are applying here. What is the closed path, sir? This one only closed path. Okay. I think everyone you understood, sir. Thank you very much, sir. If you have any doubts, please send uh, write in comments, sir. Definitely I will see and I will upload that videos. Okay. Thank you very much.